Russia is preparing for energy's attack on Europe, Zelensky warned as major gas pipelines stay closed. The Kremlin is preparing an energy attack on Europe, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Saturday, a day after Russian energy giant Gazprom indefinitely suspended natural gas supplies to Germany through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Where Russia cannot do it by force of conventional weapon, it does so by force of energy weapons, Zelensky said in a video address. Russia is preparing for a decisive energy attack on all Europeans, he said. His comments came after Gazprom, the state control company with a monopoly on Russian gas export through the key pipeline, said Friday that it could no longer provide a time frame for restarting deliveries through Nord Stream 1. It said an oil leak meant a pipeline turbine could not run safely and that it could not safely resume operation until all manufunctions had been resolved. Siemens, the German manufacturers of the turbines, however, said in a statement that such leakage do not usually affect the operation of a turbine and can be sealed on site, adding that it had never suspended operation in the past. Despite the leak, there were additional turbines to operate the pipeline, the statement said. The pipeline, which runs under the Baltic Sea to Germany, has historically supplied about a third of the gas export from Russia to Europe, but it was already running at only 20% of capacity before flow were halted last week for maintenance. Lower gas flow have already pushed up European price by nearly 400% over the past year, sending electricity costs soaring and leading to accusation that Russia is weaponizing energy supply. Moscow blame Western sanction and technical issues for supply disruption. Zelensky said Russia was trying to attack with poverty and political chaos, where it cannot yet attack with missile. The announcement about the pipeline came after finance minister from the group of seven countries, Britain, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan and the United States agreed to impose a cap on the price of Russian oil, which they said would reduce Moscow's ability to fund its war. Elsewhere in Ukraine, Russia's shelling hits the southern port of city Milkovia during the night, damaging a medical treatment facility, the city's major said in a statement on his Telegram channel. Alexandra Senkevich did not specify whether there were any injuries in the overnight attack, which he said also damaged some residents. Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Zakopizia also continued to be caught in the crossfire of the front line of the war, fuel fearing a nuclear disaster. Rafael Grossi, the director general of the International Atomic Energy Agency, said Saturday that the plants had lost internal power. Ukrainian staff operating the plants told the IAEA inspectors that the fourth and last operational line was down. The other threes were lost earlier in the war. Only one out of six nuclear reactors at the site was operation, the IAEA said in a statement Saturday. Zelensky blamed Russia shelling for an August 25 shutdown that severed the Sakopizia plant for the national grid, narrowly avoiding a radiation leak and prompting blackouts across Ukraine. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.